did uh, Kenny first approach you all about maybe working out a linebacker? Uh, you know, he'd, he'd made reference to it in the past, and it was more of a deal. Wherever I can help the team, I will, and, and that's the type of player he is. So he's gonna, um, we're gonna play him as much as we can all over the field. He's that good of a football player. Is it a little bit of he doesn't need as much work at running back, so to speak? Now he can learn more defense and still be running back later. Yeah, that's that's the gist of it, really. We feel comfortable with our protections and him running the ball. We can put him in any time on offense, and so we'll see how the defense the deal it goes and, and um, adds depth and adds some leadership over there that, that we need. So he will still be running some running back as well. No question. Yeah. What are the chances that he's a linebacker when the season gets here, when August gets here? I'm not sure. You know, I think he's done that about two days. So we'll, we'll go through the spring evaluation and, and then um, see how the summer goes and see where we're at. But he, he knows that we have a plan for him, and he's an offensive player. And if he can help us on defense, just like he did on special teams last year, one of the best special teams in the league, um, we're, we're going to do it. Coach, what, if it, Coach, if he just really shines there, would he just stay on one side of the ball, or you're like, no, nah, he's going to go both ways? No, we, we told him <laughs> that we want him uh, as a running back as well. So, we're gonna, like I said, he we want him to get on the field more, and in any way that can as a football player, we're going to do that. Also, Which a chance. Line, I'm sorry. Which linebacker spot is he working in? Um, they call it the Raider position, so whatever that means. It's also a good opportunity for guys like Quentin White to maybe get more reps now and kind of – hone their entire craft at running back. Yeah, it's, it's good for everybody. I think it's a win-win. Um, like I said, we know what K Kenny can do, and so Q's been getting a lot more reps. And DeAndre, you know, coming off that knee surgery a couple years ago, he, he looks 100%, so it's been good for the team. Do you have the depth at running back that Kenny could be a full-time linebacker since you don't have many guys who are Yeah, inside. you know, we have a couple young young cats coming in, and uh, they'll have to step up and learn quick. But I, I think... Like we said, he can slide in and play running back at, at any moment. And that's what's good about him. He's such a smart football player. He can learn linebacker and still come back and, and know what we're doing offensively. Coach, your opinion, some coaches have come out and said it, they're not in favor of a spring game anymore. What's your opinion on, on a spring game or not a spring game? Yeah, I'm not sure when that started to trend, I guess. I think it's good for the fans. You only get you know six home games during the regular season, or we get five, I believe. Um, some years. So to have another game there at Jones Stadium where everybody can come back and, and tailgate and have festivities, I think it's fun for the university and great for the fan base. Does Co having that kind of atmosphere help with recruiting too? It does. It does. When you can bring players in and they see people in the stands and people are excited and cheering. And, and, and then, you know, I like to see our players when the lights come on. Anybody can do it in practice, you know, but when the lights come on and there's some pressure and it's people are watching, let's see our perform. Coach, I know it's about a month away, but you're talking about the spring game. But what do you most likely? What do you like to see most out of that? Going from we're March 11th to April 11th within this month window, what do you most like to see that day? Yeah, just continue, you know, to, to get better in all phases. We, we've really put an emphasis on turnovers, getting them in, and not giving them and uh, penalties. And so so far, it's been good. They've, they've really paid attention to that and worked at it. So we've got to continue to prove in those areas. What have you thought about things on the interior offensive line so far? Obviously, with, with Jared not really playing much this spring and guys like Baylor and those guys playing center. It's been good. Uh, we got to develop a backup center, that's for sure. So then getting all those snaps has been, has been really, really positive. And last year, we, we practiced essentially with seven guys on the offensive line the entire spring. So it seems like there's 20 of them out there now. I think we got 10. So um, it, it, it's a lot smoother than last year. What's your impression of Tony Morales? He's doing well. He's still getting back in shape, but he's he's um, grinding hard and uh, looks physical. I mean, we're, we're really pleased with his progress so far, and hopefully in the next couple of weeks he'll get in a little better shape and can really get going. Who other than Webb has taken snaps for y'all, um, and how do they look so far? Yeah, uh, Tanner Tausch is, is getting the two reps right now, and he's done a good job. You know, he played at Kilgore Junior College some, and so he's been around the game, and um, he's picked it up quick. So he, he's a smart kid. He's working at it. and. Um, been pleased with his progress. Did you add any additional? I know a couple of weeks before spring started, you said you want to get like a fourth or fifth quarterback. Were you able to find somebody? Yeah, we're still working through that process. Um, we have some, you know, high school walk-ons coming in, but we're still working through the, the process as far as numbers go this spring. Kenny making the transition from wearing the white jersey to the black jersey coming over to help you out yeah, at just that a, Raider position. Yeah, just a guy that wants to get on the field more. I mean, he's a guy that played on all the special teams. Last year he starts all the games at tailback and looks over and knows that we're trying to come up with some answers at Raider. I think he's confident, a uh, guy that could play a lot of different positions and uh, wanted to make a go at it. So uh, we're, uh, we're always trying to get our best uh, 11 on defense on the field first and then branch out from there and got him in the mix right now. 
with only three practices in, is it is it too early to gauge where he's at? Well, he's playing catch up because he wasn't with us initially. He came over just the other day, so uh, trying to get him revved up. You know, Coach Coach Smith has to coach on the run with him a little bit, but uh, smart kid. Uh, he's a football guy. He's a run and hit guy, and uh, intelligent player. And we're excited to see him progress. So he's had what two practices? Two practices. Now, well, if you, you mentioned a couple of weeks ago about six or seven guys. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. Dorian Crawford a little bit there. Um, we had uh, Austin Stewart, who you all saw last year, uh, and then we moved Kenny fairly early, which moved D uh, Dorian back uh, to safeties, just so we can give Kenny. We weren't going to move. Uh, Kenny and give him a look and have him stand on the sideline. So we put him in the mix right away. So really at Raider right now, it's been Kenny and uh, Austin Stewart, and we'll evaluate day to day and and scramble as uh, as need be. Raider Coach, is what Bullet played last year, right? Is what Bullet played uh, last year. Yes. Coach, obviously second year in the system. What's been the difference, and what's the feedback you've gotten from the guys who finally do have a defensive coordinator for two years? Yeah, we're just they're not sitting in there learning a brand new uh, language, you know, a foreign language. It's uh, you could tell from day one they knew what expectations were, they knew our verbiage, getting lined up, assignments, all of our day, uh, install one. Um, like we would uh, in August and last spring, and what they would rep on their own in the summer, what we did all through the bowl uh, preparation. So, you know, this is for the guys that were here all along. This is, you know, now five or six times through it, and knowing how fast our offense is going to go, uh, just being accustomed to that and be able to play at uh, at a high tempo and at a at a high rate. That's uh, that was eye popping the first day. We didn't look like it was. Uh, you know, chaos. It looked like we were coordinated a little bit. DJ Fajoko, um, is he playing Mike or Will right now? He's playing Mike. Okay. Uh, we'll see as it goes, as it plays out. But uh, talk about a guy that uh, was a big shot in the arm for this program. Excited to have him here with us. Uh, big energy guy. I think he's going to be a force in the middle. He's intense. He's violent. Uh, he's always, you know, before he takes the field, he wants to talk crazy to me. and. <laughs> You know, he's, he's just, he loves to play the game, and I know he's excited about this opportunity, and we're excited to have him here. Coach, with the spring game a month away from today, with the spring game a month away from today, what do you go from these 30 days trying to get ready from now with spring break, and then you lose a week, and then getting ready for the game? What do you most like to try to see before that you get to that point? Yeah, just uh, we're, we're trying to build depth. We're trying to see who our best 11 are going to be, and then, and then branch out from there. And we've got obviously our signing class, have uh, three JC guys that aren't here yet, plus all of our freshmen that'll be here in June. So everything will come together uh, throughout the course of the summer and into August, uh, through August camp. But really with the guys that we have here, get them developed, uh, try to build depth, uh, try to build competition. And, and really, again, going through the package uh, from start to finish, from install one all the way through. And we'll, we'll throw the kitchen sink at them again uh, to force feed them at least uh, so that we get a chance to get everything introed again. And then fundamentals, first and foremost, with getting off blocks and running to the football and tackling properly.